Clive, you're back. I am. And with glad tidings for once. Hugo Kupka is no more. Well, I'll be. I did a big murder. All of our comrades who lost their lives back at Sid's place be smiling down at you right now. We had a story of some water. new boy saying Drake's fang had fallen. I expect that was your doing as well, was it? It's... It's a long story. One for the history books, I'll bet. Oh, I got it. Welcome home, Clive. It's good to be back. You look better. Maybe... I feel it. Maybe good enough to be a party member again? I'm coming on your next Yay. adventure. You're not leaving me behind again. Wouldn't dream of it. Otto. Any uh, word on the royalist movements since I've been away? Shouldn't you be putting your feet up? <sighs> if you really want to know, go and have a word with Vivian. Thank you. I will. Oh. <laughs> I picked up the wrong controller when I... It should be a five controller, so I should be forgiven for confusing them. Ah, the conquering hero returns, and with hardly a scratch on him. I may have picked up one or two. <laughs> well, the fact that you came straight to me instead of visiting our resident physica suggests that you picked up something more important. A scent. The scent of Waluders. Waluders? But whatever plans Kupka was hatching with the Royalists, he took them to his grave, as did his men, slaughtered by the orcs who'd taken over the Fang. Orcs, Vivian. I've never seen such creatures in Storm before. The Waluders must have ferried them over from Ash, but why? Why work to rescue Kupka only to invade his home, the mother crystal of an allied nation, and let both fall? It makes no sense. Do you know the tale of the blind men and the adamantus? One can often be led astray by focusing too closely on individual details. One must instead see the bigger picture. And what bigger picture is there than my map? I wonder to actually pull out a huge map instead of just referring to it as, you know, the world map. Just look at how big it is. It just takes out like a giant wallpaper. forged by the bloody conquest of Barnabas Tharm, the dominant of Odin, the Canvarian War of Independence in 849, the Battle of the Twin Realms in 865, the Battle of Belinus Tor in 873. Wheresoever his armies fought, Odin was found where the fighting was fiercest. But of late, the warrior king appears to have laid his sword to rest. Battle rages for control of the crystalline dominion. Yet Tharm sends not a single ship in support of his Dalmechian allies. Meanwhile, the blight ravages great swathes of ash. Yet warlike Walud shows not the faintest interest in laying claim to untouched lands. So why go to the trouble of sending an army of orcs into the heart of Drake's Fang? Only to make no attempt to claim the Mother Crystal for Walud. It can hardly be for lack of men. Tharm's armies rival any in the Twins. No. We have not seen the last of the Walud of Standard. Odin will ride again. It is but a question of when. And on that day, who will be trampled underfoot? In summary, I know not to attend the royalist. In summary, I don't know what the fuck happened. I know only that it is part of some broader scheme. A scheme tied to the ambitions of one man. King Barnabas. But there is no need to wallow in confusion. If one is to cure a sickness, one must first identify the symptoms. And your Lord Uncle has volunteered to do just that by keeping an eye on the Royalists' movements. 
He's really throwing himself into this. <laughs> Indeed he is. Which means all that remains for us to do is await his reports. Well, not quite all in your case. The people of the hideaway must hear the news. Justice has been done. Hugo Kupka is dead. The wounds he left that night are still raw. Especially for those who lived with Sid the longest. Tell them that those wounds might finally begin to heal. Consider it the price of today's instruction. I've never known you to be sentimental. <laughs> what can I say? I am only human. And we are, all of us, sentimental animals at heart. I suppose we are. Very well. I'll go and spread the word. Hey. No word needed spreading on this side? I guess we already did. Karen! Well, the big man is dead. With himself. It's true what I'm hearing then. Nothing escapes you, Lady Karen. It's true. Kuka is dead. Hmm. No more looking over our shoulders then. Good. I'll start to get a crick in my neck. Don't let it go to your head though. Five. I was hoping you'd be back soon. I was wondering if you had anything new to say about this. It's not Blackthorn. Do you have a moment? What is it? I'm busy. I wanted to tell you that Hugo Cooper is dead. <laughs> I can't tell you how long I've been waiting to hear those words. This is it then. Uh, a new beginning under a new Sid. I'll try to live up to the name. And then Mr. Harpocrates. Mr. Tomes. Seeking the gift of knowledge? I have some knowledge to give you. To share mine, actually. Hugo Kupka is dead. Oh my. Can, can, can it really be true? <laughs> Look, he's crying. <laughs> he is. <laughs> Big baby. <laughs> and with good reason, children. These are tears of joy. We must offer up a prayer to your parents that the heavens might weep with us. There shall be no lessons today, only thanksgiving and merrymaking. Go, put away your things. All right. Brilliant. Finally, a new dawn has broken. It has. Thank you, Clyde. I cannot wait to share the good news. Hippocrates. After Kuka fell, the music fell silent. Ultima came to me. I need to know what he is. Have you learned anything? Alas, no. And not for want of trying. I have scoured nigh every historical tome in our collection and found nothing. Not even the sort of conspicuous absence that might suggest a concealment of fact. One is almost tempted to conclude that such a creature never existed. But I saw him with my own eyes. I don't doubt that you did. Alas, it seems you are the only one who has. To others, he reveals naught. We see only that which he leaves in his wake. 
like some terrible force of nature beyond the ken of mortal man. The brother of death. Did Jill not see him at any point? You met with was the being itself, or merely another projection of its power? I know not. But until I do, my investigations shall continue. Thank you. It means a lot. There's also the hooded man that wasn't Joshua that keeps showing up me. and seems to have fire powers. Something I might assist you with, Clive? I have said it many times. Hugo Kupka was a murderer, but he was also a thief. A thief who robbed us of our happiness, of our hope. And though I know it is wrong to revel in the death of another, we can take solace in the fact that he will never steal anything from us ever story again. Is ended. Thank you, Clive. Were you aware that in many cities, bears are forbidden from having children? This belief that the ether used to bring a child into the world hastens the crystal's curse, lessening his mother's productivity. Such is the world we live in. Fortunately, Ted and Crow's parents were able to escape that world, if only for a few brief summers. What of the twins themselves? Born in the hideaway, one touched by magic, the other spared its burden. Their minds are blissfully untainted by the poisonous rhetoric of priests and politicians. They will grow up knowing there is no difference between man and bearer, and they will pass that truth on to their own children, and they to theirs, until the world we live in now is but a footnote in the annals of history. Yes, change will come. And through a magic which requires no crystal to conjure, one that will endure long after the last mother crystal has fallen. Fare you well, Clive. The power of bonds and friendship and compassion. And people thought this wasn't a shonen. Uh, okay. And talk with Otto again. It's true. I heard it from Otto's own lips. We've seen troops amassing at every border crossing. You barely sat down since you came home. Have you even got you running air rooms or something? Just spreading the word. So, the professor's got a soft side, has she? I'd never have guessed. No. She was right, though. Everyone was glad to hear the news. Ah, oh, but you ain't told everyone. I can think of plenty of friends back at the old hideaway who'd sleep more peacefully for knowing. Not least of all Sid. You should tell him. Hmm. You're right. I should. Hmm, do we keep graves or a monument for the people that passed well, away in the in the did. attack five years ago? Be sure to take mid with you. She's been going at it hammer and tongs down at that workshop of hers, trying to do her father proud. I can't remember the last time she visited the old salt's grave. Very well. I'll suggest it. Oh, where's that? Uh, right, all the way down there. I still kind of wish we had... Oh, there are side quests now. But we still kind of wish we had teleporters, shortcuts, inside of the... the hub area. to visit Sid, and I thought you might like to come with me. Sorry, I'm too busy for all that right now. Wait for real? I'll get this thermal displacement stack sorted. Kind of fucked up. Thermal. <laughs> displacement stack. Here. And uh, this is for... Only the fastest, finest ship the world has ever seen. The Enterprise. Me and my dad designed it together. Where other vessels rely on the fickle winds to drive them through the water, ours is fitted with mithril engines. And those things have got more push than a behemoth in a bad mood, and more heat than all the hells put together. Which is where the stack comes in. 
I may have already talked some tight-lipped shipwrights into putting the hull together for me in a little dockyard in Canva. But the stack's a bit more involved, so I'm building it here. Thing is, it's so involved that I'm running behind and it's starting to hold things up over at the shipyard. I'll come and see my dad, though, when I'm done. Whenever that is. <sighs> is there anything I can do to help? Good old Clive. I were hoping you'd say that. I were first hoping. <laughs> I need some parts making. The sack will be made up of three major components. There's the plate in here that channels hot vapors away from the engine. The helm over the top that disperses all that heat into the air. And the shield in around the sides that stops the rest of the ship from going up in flames. A full suit of armor then. Probably best to take it one piece at a time. Then you'll need to start with the plating. Everything else fits onto it. I've got the designs and the list of materials here. Show these to Blackthorn. He'll know what to do. I can't make it not tell them. Luckily, you don't need to. Okay. Uh, this voice probably a bit faster. What a nerd. <laughs> Reading books with no pictures in them. Blackthorn. I have some scribbles. Thermal plating designs. Instructions on how to go about building oneself a full set of thermal plating to dissipate heat from around a mithril engine. Should one find themselves sorry, one find oneself in need of such a thing. That one piece of like light in the background was making it hard to read some of that. Well, I don't know what the hell you'd want this for, but I can make it. Won't be easy though. And I'll need help. Get Gavin Otto in here, will you? All right. So Lid's roped us all in here again, has she? Typical. Still, if that's what it takes to get her to visit Sid's grave, I'll do what I can. And, uh... What is it we need to do, exactly? Take a look at this. It's this plating. The usual saw grade still won't work. We need something that can get very hot, very fast, and still keep its shape. That means an alloy. Something that won't break or buckle at the temperature she's talking about. Which is where you lot come in. I need materials, and I've got my work cut out already. You'll have to fetch them. Now, there's a special kind of sand I'm after that you can only find out in the Valkroy. Stardust, they call it. As for the rest of the stuff, my usual supply should have it in stock. It just needs buying and bringing back here. Well, we'll get it done quicker if we split up. One of us should probably give you an hand coat in the sand. And the other can go and get the rest from this supplier. Right then. We'll make your minds up who's going where and we can get this over with. Letting off steam more. Uh, gather the necessary materials, speak with Blackthorn. Uh, okay. You going after the Stardust then, are you? Which one of these two lucky souls is going with you? Hmm. Gav, you're with me. Gav, you're with me. All right then. So, uh, where do we find this stardust stuff? There's a river that runs through the southern reaches of the Velcroy. It's the black sand that washes up on its banks that you're after. Southern reaches of the Velcroy, eh? That's down past Dallamil. 
I'll go and scout the place out. See about hiring us a wagon to bring the stuff back to. All right. I'll meet you by the river. While you're off having a paddle, I'll pick up the rest of this stuff from Blackthorn Supply. Take care. You two, eh? Don't go letting them fleece ya. Fleece me? I'd like to see him try. I wonder if there's uh, any difference here. In your own time. <laughs> Like, no shit talking to Blacksmith. Um, hmm. Blackthorn, can I make a new sword? By any chance? Enhancer. Earth and Fury. Oh, it is a new, a new sword. Okay. So a savvy merchant would have you believe that through arcane magics imbued into the sword at high cost of supplier, its wielder will experience enhanced strength and dexterity. In truth, it is the reduced weight and increased hardness afforded by the weapon's narrow blade of folded steel that ultimately provides the illusion of these enhancements. Are we saying it's glorious and upon steel folded a thousand times or whatever? Uh, okay, let's make it. It is an upgrade. And can I reinforce it? I sure can. My best work, but it'll do. That it. Oh, it is actually just a katana. <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, let's see, what else? We had a bunch of hunts to do now. And it looks like there are also side quests to take care of. So let's start working on those now that we've been asked to leave the, the hideaway. Let's see. Clive! Clive! Luck and luck alone. That saw me safely out of the hideaway that night. So many others didn't make it. I see them now, you know, in my dreams, sometimes. I always tell them I'm sorry I wasn't able to save them. Now. I can tell them something different. That Kupka's dead, that you avenge them. And I know that they'll say it back to me. So let me say it for them. Thank you, Clive. Here you go. Okay. Oh, we got two quests to do, huh? For great justice. Let's handle these later. Uh, let's try doing the hunts first. Except maybe the last one. Like, the S rank, I'm a little bit scared that I'm just gonna get murdered doing that. Uh, but let's see. Soul Stingers. Empty Hovel Dalmechia. A swarm of vicious vile kin has off late made its nest near an abandoned village in the fields of Koraba. I like that they call insects vile kin. They sure are vile. Already the stripped corpses of the Great Beasts have been sighted in, the, in its vicinity. Should the Vilekin be left to their own devices, the nearby settlements shall surely be reduced to naught but a collection of bleached bones within a twelve moon. Uh, village in the fields of Korava. Okay. What's in Dalmechia? Oh, actually, give me a second. Where are the others? So I can just try doing multiple at once. Empty Hall of Dalmechia, Fields of Korava. The Cattery Dalmechia. Just off the sickle, the road that leads to uh, Dalamil. From Dalamil to the Jaw, is a dead end canyon into which travelers moving at night are wont to stay, providing a constant supply of sustenance for feline most foul. With the daytime desert heat, Ever its own threat to life, and merchants ever mindful not to waste their last shards of crystals on the lightning of lamps, only the monster's demise might save them. A Grimalkin. And this also the Jaw Dalmechia. Uh, Dalmechian traders are wont to say a prayer for unwary travelers journeying from Dalmel to Drake's Fang, for there lurks a bloodthirsty brigand, one who appears to be more interested in letting the blood of his quarry than he is in any gill or goods he might plunder from their caravans. 
If the road is to be made safe again, then at least one traveler passing through the place must not flee, but stand and fight. The Nine of Knives. Interesting. So, that was in the Jaw in Dalmachia. Uh, this one was between... Leads from Dalmo to the Jaw. A dead-end canyon. And here, an abandoned village, fields of Karava, empty hovel. Okay. Trying to figure out where that is. Uh, local map, please. So where's the jaw supposed to be? Okay, here's the jaw. The sickle. So an abandoned village around here, the fields of Karava. Okay, there should be the hunt then. And also... Where would be the... Oh, around here, maybe. It was supposed to be in the jaw itself. Let me check that again. So we figured out where one was supposed to be, I think. Or the direction where we can check it out. Uh, so if you're Soprava, the Cattery, Dalmechia. I don't know where that is, the Cattery. Just off the sickle. Oh, okay. We can find both of them around here. Alright, let's head over here. We'll handle that stuff later. <laughs> and this stuff too. They were paying me so well and now they're gone. Says the courtesan. Sorry for ruining your business. Hi, Ambrosia. Good girl. Faster. Fast. I guess Gav isn't with me right now. Same. I thought he would help me with this. Okay, looks like all the enemies are around this side, so let's take a look. I said just off the sickle in a dead end. Or a side path, right? I don't want to deal with you guys. Uh, let's see. That looks like the right place. Does it say the cattery anyway? It sure does. Sorry, friends. No time. No time at all. We must defeat the cat. Wait, what's that over there? Random overturned card? Okay. It says that merchant's freaking uh, rest here, but it's fucking full of monsters. Like, which, which is it? I'm just put you for rest. And actually, now that we have 2000 points to our name, let's just upgrade this again.
Now I have four bars of limit break. Come on, are you gonna do anything? I think I was about to do something. I got I got bored too quickly. <laughs> I like that. It's a it's a good move. It seems to be a good move to deal with like uh, groups of enemies because it doesn't throw them out, like throw them away. I think I can just strike the orb and hit everything around me. I like it. Alright, does it have minions? Grimalkin. Oh, it does. God damn it. Oh. Can't always get the right timing, I guess. Come on, get closer. Oh, I didn't dodge in time? Fuck me. Oh, they keep coming, huh? I wish that did more damage to other enemies. <laughs> What are you gonna do now that all your mates are gone? That's satisfying. That's also satisfying. <laughs> Neil. Ah, he ran away, fuck. Okay, I was thinking, like, when's he gonna fucking crumple? Love that. Oh no. I kind of messed that up. Damn. I was doing so well too.
Come on me. Oh, I didn't realize it was so close to death. <laughs> well, with our glorious Nippon Steel, we've defeated it. Grimal can hide. That wasn't too bad, was it, Toggle? I like that they're having fun with it. Uh, okay. Brosha. Now oh, let me charge you. Were there any treasure chests around here that I just didn't see? I don't think so, right? We just... Oh, you can go up here. Isn't that where the cat was hiding? Okay, let's let's ch take a look at this before we we leave. Might be something worthwhile. Oh, meteorite! That mm, was kind of whatever. Okay, Brosha, where did you go? How did you leave so fast? Uh, way out, way out, over there. Faster. Okay, now we need to find those bugs. Got a feeling that that one's gonna be a gauntlet. It says something about an abandoned boat. An abandoned village in the next area. Let's see about that. The fields of Korava. What's over here? from hell divers hmm looks pretty abandoned and there are some large animals around I guess we'll just visit We just visit these towns one at a time, or these ab not these towns, these abandoned villages. Oh, okay, that longhorn or bighorn or whatever kind of followed us in. Never mind, just left. Good. Wasn't looking to deal with that shit. This is so good. <laughs> Why fight the enemies when I can just fight the ball? It doesn't look like there was anything in here, though. Except from that group of enemies. Okay, next village over. Let's go. I was saying something about empty hovel. Oh, yeah. Okay, no. We... It's actually over here. Take a look around then. Two goblin coins. I'm hearing bug noises, but I'm not seeing bugs. Oh, there. Let's 
What's up with that? Soul Stinger. Oh, and they're big, apparently. I'm scared. Ooh! My health! Let me just blow you up. You're gonna throw something at me? Okay. Jesus Christ. Okay, we got one. You got two. I think I might have gotten three. Can't quite delete this one. Okay, I was hoping I could just throw out lightning at it and kill it, but didn't load up in time. Didn't uh, finish the cooldown. Well, that was kind of terrifying, but we did it. Now, where was the last one, though? Uh, the jaw, I think, right? A bandit. Let's go. Is it just that guy standing in the middle of the road? You just killed someone. Safe. A lot of people, actually. The Nine of Knives. Rank A. I wonder what this is about. Is it wearing armor or is its skin just... I, I tried to dodge and I couldn't. I'm just taking hits for no reason. is going to snap me like a twig apparently. It seems more than capable. If I can, I, I thought that wouldn't reach. I wonder if I can do this to the person missed. 
Someone expected. That still hit me. What? Undermine. Oh! Torgal... So Torgal just went limit break. He must be trying to help me. Oh, I didn't see it. Am I dead? Still alive. Undermine again? Oh. The timing, though. <laughs> it was very close. I almost gave up on used items. Gave me that level up. Deserved. <laughs> those who kill for sport deserve no better. What's up with him anyway? Okay, no, those are tattoos. Golden tattoos. Hmm. Okay, there's a side quest here. Let's do it. Uh then I can probably progress the main quest for a little bit. And there's one more hunt that I should take care of. How's this guy? Drake's fang was your doing, Sid. Hmm, you really are quite the outlaw. Wasn't even our plan. It's only a matter of time before the people learn of this and seek to apportion blame. Lie low is my advice. My carpet. Take a sniff, good sir. Just gone, just like that. And without so much as a bow, you'll leave. What's the matter? Uh, oh, it, it's my apprentice. He up and vanished while my back was turned. I'd go and look for him myself, but I've got a bakery to run. A bakery that's now short, one pair of hands. Loath though I am to rely on the kindness of strangers, I'm at a loss. Please, will you see if you can find him? Do what I can do. See what I can do. Do you know where he might have gone? Ah, I wouldn't be surprised if he was off somewhere mooning at Drake's fang. He used to work there, you see. Poor fool left his heart in its hollow. All right. Then that's where I'll start. Use your loaf? Uh, okay, back to the jaw, I guess. Basta. Mm, okay, so 
Is the apprentice or whatever supposed to be around here? Ah, there we go. Straight home now. Hello. Excuse me. What do you want? The baker sent me to find you. I am a sorry, selfish sod, aren't I? Are you drunk? I'm certainly not a baker. Master must have ruled the day he took me in. Time was the sight of the fang used to calm my nerves. But now look at her. I take it you missed the Mother Crystal. I hated her. But she was all I knew. Worked her minds for years. And when she shattered, part of me shattered with her. I had to trade my pickaxe for a rolling pin. But I'm no good at baking. Every loaf I touch collapses. My breath's <laughs> as hollow as I am. She was the only thing that could fill the hole inside me. Oh, I loved her, damn it. I thought you hated her. Gone. She's never coming back. What am I supposed to do? I ask her. How does a shell of a man learn to live again? What what advice will you offer? Uh I'm just gonna remember the good times. Try to remember the good times. Do that, and the mother crystal will be with you no matter where you are. Even in the bakery. <laughs> What a fool I've been. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. You've opened my eyes. I have to get back there right away. Farewell. I feel like it would have been, I am remembering the good times. That's why it's so hard. But no, he's like, oh, I guess that's all I needed. I just needed to remember. I hope we go back here and he's there. And hasn't been like waylaid by monsters on the way back. Ellie Mill in. Take a sniff, good sir. Intro. Ah, there you are. The man who lit a fire under my wayward apprentice. <laughs> Though I worry you might have stoked the flames a little too high. He damn near ran me down trying to get to my oven. Master, it's ready. Behold the Drake's Balm. A truly unique creation. I dare say it is. Just look at it. A perfect likeness of the Fang herself. Her steeple peaks, her fulsome spurs, her inviting hollow. True, my loaves collapse more often than not, but what's the Fang without her crater? Why, no Fang at all. And look, inside. She's filled to bursting with a bounty of beautiful crystals. Salt crystals! Master, I have found my purpose. I must use my work here to preserve the memory of the fang. Uh, well, if it tastes half as unique as it looks, I'd certainly say you're on to something. Not only is my apprentice back, but he's finally pulling his weight. With any luck, I might even have a new delicacy on my hands. I don't know how you did it, but you have my thanks. I said three words. Alright. Uh, you know, rather than actually do the main quest, which is right there, I'm going to try and find that one uh, hunt that we're missing. I think I know I know which it is. There might have been footage from one of Maximilian uh, dudes' videos, actually. Uh, it should be in Rosaria, I think. Maybe. Here. I think it's over here. 